Hey everyone, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we are here with the top 5 4 stars in our game. Uh, these 4 stars will be used most probably from day 1 up to the mid game which will help all of you guys and especially free to play players who would like to know what are the hidden gems in the in our four star so also um, just want to note that all the five that are in the top five are of various weapons and now let's proceed to all of those top five four stars so we're starting off with a new addition to the four star which is uh, chen xing so chen xing is for me what i consider her she's mainly a healer the healing will come from the support part which is psychic so it's like a pod system that she that it throws out um heals or vials so that uh, your other operatives can pick it up then the other two skills that you will also need is also heavenly law heavenly law is a is a system wherein pods are being dropped near your enemies so that they could deal damage i think it's this, this is going to be um the thunder soldiers is a max of three plus there's going to be a mama soldier during divine protection this is a big uh pod so deploys one thunder token in a designated location and it gives buffs to the small guys so increase of attack speed of surrounding thunder soldiers so not only does she, uh, chen xing have a very very good kit in terms of um in terms of heals but she also has support damage aside from those heals if you're going to be using her okay so that is it for chen xing next up is going to be Fenny. So your shotgun here, Fenny, I'm sorry, um, Chen Xing, by the way, uses a rifle. Fenny is going to be using a shotgun. Shotgun users will be big part of the game because um, they're good in hitting armored or um, your large, um, large figures that you need to take down. They're hard. They need to be taken down by a shotgun. So... Fenny really specializes in that, including her support skill. Support skill is actually a knocks target, so it throws targets away once it's near the operative that you're using for support. But if you want to use her, this skill is a lot of damage. It's a lunge, it's a dash, but you'll need a bullet for this one. And also this one, the fit of peak. This is also a huge damage in a small cone area. So trigger seven seven explosions in a line in front. Not really a cone, so it's a line, a straight line. So again, if you're looking for a pure damage shotgun uh, user in four star, then Fanny is your girl. Plus, she does have a new outfit, which is very fantastic. Next up is going to be akasha so akasha here um well akasha is queen of being slow not really being slow but queen of dishing out slow so in her support skill let's talk about support first so throws a small dagger deals chaos damage slowing a target for five seconds take note this is only one target but if you use her as your main then this one, once she throws a dagger, this is more for crowd control. Um, not really crowd control, but more on for multiple damage if there are a lot of clustered uh, units in one area. So this is multiple damage. And the last one is also going to be kind of a crowd control as well. This applies slow to the units. This, if you use her, you use this, then you shift to another another character for example fenny that when your enemies are slow then fenny can clean them up with your shotgun if you want that to happen your fourth up is going to be life so life here is the main protagonist of the game so again very nice 
all around um, unit or character. I've been using Life since CBT. She was my main in CBT because I didn't have the five star version of her. When you use her, you will have um, go back, go first to the support. So support. So for life, she summons a thunder judgment centered at one target. This one is good for paralyzing targets, also for slowing them down. Um, that was for support. If you use her, this one will give you additional fire support. So this one, th these are kind of drones that shoots at at you at a target in front of you. And the last one from the windy tree. This one is a huge, not a, a huge, but it doesn't really have a limitation in terms of range in which how far it can deal that um, lightning. That it, it's like a lightning storm, by the way. So this has good damage, very large area in which thunderstorms are, are shooting out. So basically, she's one of your top four star within the top four star okay so next up after life so uh life is our fourth the last one would be marian okay the reason behind why marian over yao four star is that marian is is actually specializing in lure explosion the lure explosion is the taunt here so there's a taunt, she leaves something, taunts, then explodes. Then her kit is mainly for high power damages. So th this one is chaos damage. And her ultimate basically is going to be a big damage as well. So huge damage, chaos damage. So again, versus Yao, her, she... Marian is going to be more of a big damage dealer compared to Yao in 4-star. So if you want a hard-hitting sniper at 4-star, then definitely you get Marian. So again, the top 5 would be Chen Xing, Fenny, you have Akasha for slow, then you have Life, for all around, then the last one will be Marian as your top sniper for four star. However, we do have some honorable mentions for this game, just in case you have other preferences. Number one for the honorable mentions is going to be Yao. Okay, because Yao is a healer. If you want more heals for your, you know, for your team. Then Yao is actually it because as a support, she heals. She also has a heal for herself. So again, if you want more heals, then Yao is your girl. Um, but if you want more damage for your sniper, Marian is it. Another honorable mention that I would like to add is actually um, Enya. Enya here, very decent. She has ignite damage or thermal damage. Um, this one is a very nice, um, it has a wide area in terms she throws the flower of youth. So this one, when it hits the ground, this is more for uh, units that are on the ground. If they're kind of a lot, then, it, and it, it spreads in a wide area. This is actually very good for crowd control. Also, this one is for, also for crowd control, hits one, then explodes uh dealing extra thermal damage no this is only for one target but deals um additional damage and feathered serpent which is a damage dealing ultimate as well so those are your five with your two honorable mentions so i'd like to hear from you guys um uh, in the comment section which of these are you still using and which of these are you planning to retain in your roster? So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.